Hello everybody. As you can see, we are outside today enjoying that scenery. If you don't recognize me, that's because it's my first time here collaborating with Annie's and Tequila Party and I'm the creator slash owner of Crocheting Worlds. If you haven't seen it already, today we are making this awesome fall themed bag. This is the perfect bag slash basket. This is the perfect basket to make just to get into that fall aesthetic because I live here in Florida and basically every season here is summer. So this is how I get into my fall. For the materials, you'll be needing different things like hooks, yarn, stitch markers, but I'm gonna have a slide in a couple of seconds that will show all of that. And I will also be showing all of them up close and more in detail as the video goes on and when we're using it. So today's video isn't necessarily a follow along tutorial, but it's more of like a tutorial to kind of help you get started and help you along the way with all the difficult parts. So if you want to get the full pattern, you can go click down below to get that link. So let's get started. So it's now time to start. You can either find your yarn here in the middle as you see this little string and just pull on it. And as you see, it might just come out into the actual ball. So just take your thing off and then here your yarn will start to unravel like this. And that's just an easy way to get your yarn out without it starting to knot. For this project, you're also gonna need some other materials like a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Some stitch markers. Some needles. and even some scissors. So first we're going to start with a slip ring, which is also known as a magic circle. Now what exactly makes a magic circle so magical? That is a great question that I cannot answer, but you know what? It makes our project, so that's enough for me. So we're gonna start by grabbing the short end with your thumb and pointer like this. You should be tight and sturdy. You wanna hold it so it, this does not pull out. Now you're going over your three fingers, you're gonna create an X. I'm gonna go over, behind, and then over again. So as you see, we have an X in the front, but just one line in the back. So you're gonna grab your 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, put it under the first line of the X, but over the second line of the X. Now the second line, we're going to grab it and pull it through slash under the first line, just like that. Now we're going to grab the same line, the second one again, put your hook under, and you're basically going to do a chain with that and the loop on your hook. Just like that. And there you go, your magic circle. So we're going to start off this first row by doing six single crochets. So, so to do a single crochet, you're going to insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, grabbing that loop, pulling it out, Yarn over and go through the two loops that are on your hook. So you have two loops on your hook. You're going to grab that yarn, twist your hook 180 degrees, and pull through both of them. And there you go. That's a single crochet. Let's do five more of those. So into your hook, yarn over, pull your hook out, yarn over, and pull through the two loops on your hook. So that's three, four, five, and six. Now for this project, we are not going to be joining. Instead, we are going to just use a stitch marker to mark where our rows end. So you're gonna place that stitch marker on the last stitch, AKA your sixth single crochet, and you are done with the first row. And if you're saying to yourself, I still have this big circle, what do I do? Basically going to grab the short end not me dropping it. You're gonna grab the short end of the yarn, holding onto your single crochets with the other hand, and you're just going to pull. And pull slowly, not fast, because you don't want to mess anything up. And now it should be a smaller circle showing your six single crochets. Now for row two, we are learning a new term called increasing. Now increasing is basically when you do two of the same things in the same stitch. So for this pattern, we're going to be doing a single crochet increase, meaning we're single crocheting twice in the same stitch. So you're going to get that first single crochet from the first row, going to enter in your hook, yarn over, pull your hook out, yarn over, pull through first two loops, and that's your first single crochet. So 
Usually we would move on to the next stitch, but because it's an increase, we're going to go back into the exact same stitch and do that all over again. And now as you can see, I have two stitches in the same stitch. And just as a reminder, you can find the written pattern for this in the description. So I'm just increasing all around. Going to remove your stitch marker. Increase in that last stitch. And then re add your stitch mark. <laughs> I can't grab it. And you're going to re add your stitch marker into that last stitch. And there you go. That's the end of row two. For the next row, we're going to be doing increase in the first stitch one single crochet in the next and we're going to repeat that for the rest of the round. So I'm going to increase in that first stitch so that's two single crochets and then just one single crochet in the next stitch. Let's do that one more time so two single crochets there and just one single crochet in this one. We're going to repeat that for the rest of the round. You're going to add your stitch marker in that last stitch. Now we're going to be working in a sequence, working our way up. So for the next row, you'll be doing increase two single crochets. The row after that, you'll be doing increase three single crochets. You're going to do that until you're doing increase 15 single crochets. Once you finish the row where you're doing increase then 15 single crochets, I will meet back up with you all and we're going to get to our next fun step. Okay, so I finished my 15 rows of increasing plus one row of single crochet. I'm going to do a quick measure with the tape measure to see what it ends up measuring just for a little. So it's about six and a half inches wide, which I feel like is a pretty good size. So as you can see, I left this last stitch unworked in because it is now time for us to do our color change. Now color changes are not as complex as they sound. So you're gonna get your new color of yarn. Put that on the side and have it ready to be worked with. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. I'm going to insert my hook in the stitch. Yarn over and pull my hook out. And as you see, I have two loops on my hook. So instead of yarning over with the same yarn and pulling through both, I'm going to add our new strand of yarn on, which is going to be this lovely color. So I'm going to add the new strand here, and then I'm going to pull through both of those loops with the new color. So what I like to do to give it a little bit of extra security, you don't have to do this, but I do like to do this. I'm basically going to not the old color and the new color just like that 
And I usually just knot it twice and that usually gives a good, what's the word? Secureness to it. And then you can add the, and we're gonna sew that in so we don't even have to worry about seeing it. So for those of you following along with the pattern, we just finished row 18 and we are now starting row 19. And 19 is gonna be a little bit different than the rows we did before, so don't let it throw you off. We're gonna be seal crocheting in the back loops. So what is a back loop? So as you look at the project here, you can kind of see a little V for each stitch. So there is a V like this. So this loop right here is going to be the front, while this loop right here is the back. So to single crochet in the back loops, you are basically just going to insert your hook like this, straight down the middle, going out through the back. And as you can see, I've only went through the back loop, leaving the front one alone. Yarn over and just work a regular single crochet just like you would before. So let's try that one more time. We're going to enter our hook in that back loop and then work a regular single crochet. And we're just going to do that for, oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. Okay. So besides me dropping it, um, we are basically just going to do that for the remainder of the row. So now until row 34, we are going to be doing alternate rows of double crochet, then single crochets. So first we're going to chain three. And to double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in that stitch, yarn over, pull your hook out, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and then yarn over, pull through the last two loops on your hook. Let's try it one more time. So yarn over, insert your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull your hook out. Ah, okay, <laughs> yarn over, pull your hook through the first two loops on your hook, and then yarn over, pull your hook through the last two loops on the hook. And that's a double crochet. And we're going to do that for the remainder of the row. And then for the next row, we'll do single crochet, row after, row after that double crochet, row after that single crochet, and just alternating until the end of row 34. Okay, so I just finished row 34. This was the double crochet row, and now I'm going to start row 35, which is going to be a single crochet border with a new color, the orange rust of the Premier Anti-Pooling yarn. I'm just gonna take the label out. So the color change from a double crochet is very similar from a single crochet. You're just gonna change in that last loop. Over, insert our hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull our hook out, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on our hook. And instead of yarning over with the same color, we're going to now add our new color, which is the rust orange. So I'm gonna add that new color right there and pull through those two loops on my hook. Now, just like before, I prefer to knot my yarn because this gives it a very nice security. I still don't know what word I should use for this, security. I don't, I need to like look up the, some antonym for this, but it gives it a little nice security I'm gonna put two knots right there and just cut off, like after six inches, just cut off that gray yarn. So I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna cut it right here. So now the yarn I'm not working with is the brown. So I'm going to slip, so I'm going to see on crochet in that third chain from the previous row. And then now I'm now going to single crochet once in each stitch. And this is going to be our last row for this basket. We're ending it in a different color because we want to give it a nice border color, which is going to make it look very nice in the end. I can already see the basket starting to come 
I can already see the basket starting to form its like true form and like I can already imagine it with the pumpkins and handles and I already know this is going to look so good and I'm honestly so excited because this is my first time making a basket and I think it's probably going to be a very very nice memory and it's going to be the first too many to be made. As you can see, I'm coming to an end here with the single crochets for the border. So once you add in that last single crochet, you're going to slip stitch to the first one. So to slip stitch, you're going to enter your hook. So to slip stitch, you're going to enter your hook, yarn over, pull your hook out, and that same loop, you're gonna pull that loop through the first loop on your hook and there you go we are done with the border so you're going to grab so you're going to grab your pair of scissors you're gonna cut off about eight inches of yarn and then this is the super satisfying part you only get to do it once so just pull your hook out just like that and we finished look how awesome this looks already I'm so excited Okay, so I'm so happy with the way the basket is turning out right now. I had to give you guys like a little close up, little interview perspective because this is so awesome. So here's the basket. It actually sits up pretty nicely on its own, which is really, really nice. As you can see, the bottom is like this. We still have to sew in those ends, but don't worry about that yet. The border is very, very, very nice. I love the stitching on this. The double crochet, single crochet, alternative stitch was such a good idea. I'm very excited for the back. This is what the bottom looks like. And you can just like even see like those single crochets just look so nice. Congratulations, everybody. We finished our fall pumpkin basket. Tell me this doesn't like give you like all of those fall aesthetics like it's supposed to be giving. Like this is so awesome and I love it so much. If you go to the description down below to get this amazing pattern and the links to my social medias will also be down there but in case you can't find them my name is Kayla Party and you can find me on social media at crocheting worlds watching and I will see you soon because this is just one of many videos of this collaboration with Andy's